In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add LinkedIn feed to Squarespace. Unfortunately, since Squarespace doesn't support this functionality, what we need to do is make use of a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the elfsite.com platform. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you will be taken to. From here, head over to widgets in the top left corner of the screen right here where the navigation menu is. And then right underneath, you'll see social. And from social, go down until we find LinkedIn feed right here. Click on that and then that is going to take you to the LinkedIn feed widgets page. From here, go ahead and click on create widget for free and then you'll be taken to the template section, which is where you can choose from a number of different LinkedIn feed templates. Now the templates are on the left hand side and on the right hand side here, you get a little preview of what the widget is going to look like on a Squarespace website. Now in my case, I want a standard timeline like this or perhaps even a smaller widget like this because it looks much nicer and cleaner. So yeah, I'm gonna go for this one right here. Once you've made up your mind, go ahead and click continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. Here, what we need to do is link the URL of the LinkedIn page that you want the widget to display the feed off. Now in my case, I'm gonna go for Microsoft right here because it's just an example. But in your case, go ahead and copy the link of your page and then simply paste it here. Once you've done that, click on apply and then you will see the widget right here with the correct feed. Now, once you've done that on the left hand side of the screen, you also see some more buttons where it says layout, post, appearance, and settings. Here you can customize pretty much anything to do with the actual widget itself. So as you can see, uh, if you want to change the width, I could do that. I could make it, uh, let's say 400 because I want it to be a bit wider, just like this. Go ahead and click on done. I can change the actual layout if you want to. You can change the posts. You can change the appearance in terms of colors and so forth. I'm not going to get too much detail about these because I don't want to make the video super long. But just know that these options here are for you to use and take full advantage of. So once you're happy with the widget that you've created, go ahead and click add to website for free at the bottom left corner here. And then in a couple of seconds, your widget will be created. Now, before you are taken to this page right here where you can see the widget, you'll be asked to log in. So you can either create your own account through the platform itself, or you could do it like me. I just use my Google account to log in because it's much easier and quicker. So once you are logged in, what you want to do is go ahead and hit the publish button in the top right corner of the screen, and then you'll be taken to the plans section. Now, since this is the first widget that we're using from this platform, what you want to do is go for the free plan right here. As you can see, it supports one widget. However, in the future, if you do decide to use multiple of their widgets, uh, you will have to opt for one of the premium plans right here. So go ahead and click select for now for the free plan. And then uh, in a couple of seconds, you'll be sent through to the code section where you can copy the code of the widget that you just created. So go ahead, copy the code and head back over to your Squarespace website. Once you're on your Squarespace website, go ahead and click on edit in the top left corner of the screen. And that will take you to the editor of your Squarespace website. Here, you need to decide where you want to display the LinkedIn feed. In my case, I want to display in a brand new section that is also blank so that no other elements interfere with it. So go ahead and hit add section. And then in my case, I'm going to hit this add a blank section here. And then that's going to add this section uh, right below the main image right here. So what you want to do next is go to the top left corner of the section. And there you'll see the add block button. Simply click on that, scroll down a bit, and you will see the code button right here. Click on this. And then this is going to add a code block to your Squarespace website. From here, simply drag it anywhere on the screen. In my case, I'm going to position it right in the middle here. And then click on the pencil icon to edit the contents of the blog. Make sure that the mode is set to HTML because the code that we copied is HTML. Uh, delete this and then go ahead and paste the code that you just copied from the Elfsite platform. Click away from this and then don't worry about this actual message. It doesn't really matter. It's just an editor. Gives you a little uh, kind of warning. I'm not even sure why. Then resize the widget to your liking. Don't worry if it doesn't look good in the editor. Once you click save and then go ahead and preview it in the website, it will look just fine. So let me just show you what I mean by that. Uh, I'm in preview mode now. Wait for the widget to load. As you can see, this is what my LinkedIn feed widget looks like. Super nice and clean. Also, the arrows are here where I can browse through the different posts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add LinkedIn feed to Squarespace. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.